Lads, lads, lads. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to another Chef United Way transfer special. Today we're going to be talking about Johnson Clark Harris possibly coming to Sheffield United from Peterborough. So let's get into it. Who is Johnson Clark Harris? Well, he's a 26-year-old left-footed striker who was born in Leicester but came through the Coventry City youth system. He didn't make it at Coventry and then bounce around from club to club until 2019 when he signed for Bristol Rovers. And that's really where his career took off. Scoring 11 goals in 16 games in his first season and then 13 in 26 the following season. His form put him in the shot window for Peterborough to pick him up for an undisclosed fee on a four-year deal. And what a deal that was because he scored a massive 31 goals in 45 games last season for the posh. And that fired him to second place in the League One table, which obviously got them promoted back to the championship. Let's move on to talking about advantages and disadvantages for Johnson Clark Harris. When it comes to his advantages, his finishing is impeccable. He's confident and composed in the box and he strikes the ball extremely well. If you've ever seen a YouTube video with one of his goals on it, you'll understand why I've just said that. He can also take a mean direct free kick from around the box, as proved this season netting twice for Peterborough. He's also a confident penalty taker, and he has a knack of being in the box just at the right time, which sounds like a perfect replacement for an aging Billy Sharp. He's also great in the air too, but just all round an exciting goal scorer. The only negatives that I can think of are his build-up play and the fact that he only uses his right foot for standing on because there were a few goals that I've seen of him from this season where it's been on his right foot and he's had to bring his left foot round to kind of flick it in with his back heel or something like that. So that obviously proves that he is completely a one-footed striker. I think anyone interested in Johnson will have been encouraged by Ivan Tony's rapid rise as they both have scored lots of goals for Peterborough in League One and Tony scored even more goals in the Championship than in League One. Maybe Clark Harris can do the same. I honestly think, though, Ivan Tony's recent rise is because he's in a team full of players that can create lots of chances for him. And it's always easy for a striker to score goals when there's players around him playing really well. So I think Johnson would fit our system absolutely fine because currently we're playing 3-5-2 or 5-3-2. He's obviously going to be one of those strikers if we were to sign him. However, if Jukanovic wanted to play three up top, I could see him playing as a wide striker. He's obviously playing as the main man, the, the main number nine for Peterborough. But it looks like he could play on that left-hand side with that mean left foot that he's got. Not saying that I'm expecting him to be a winger, just kind of like an outside forward. And honestly, I think that Jukanovic would be perfect for him for his progression. So there seems to be a lot of clubs interested in the lad. Rangers, West Brom, even CSK Moscow are interested, if you can believe that. His valuation also seems to be around the same as Ivan Tony's was going to Brentford, which was five million. But I think that Ivan Tony's kind of rocketed up to 10 million based on the goals that he scored and the impact that he had on the club and the fact that Brentford got promoted as well. So I'm expecting us to get Johnson Clark Harris for around the same mark, five million, something like that. Will it happen? Well, I think we've got as good a chance as anyone. CSK Moscow have not been great this season, um, but Rangers, it's Champions League football at the end of the day. They won the Scottish League. It's Champions League football. Can we compete with that? I don't think so. But at the same time, that's Scotland. This is England. He could be playing Premier League football next season, just like what's happened to Ivan Tone. Do I think we need him? Absolutely not. Don't get me wrong. I think he will be a great striker. And wherever he goes next season, or if he stays at Peterborough, he'll have a great season. I, I just know it. But we've got Bruce up, McBurney, Sharp and Didse that are all proven at this level. And that's without talking about Oli Burke and Daniel Jebison, who's one of the most exciting talents I've seen at Bramall Lane for a very long time. So in my opinion, we don't really need any more strikers. We just need creativity to feed those strikers next season. 
So I'm giving this transfer a likelihood of 3 out of 10. And that's a week three. So thank you for watching. I hope this has given you a little bit more information on Johnson, Clark, Harris. I've given you my opinion on whether we should sign him or not. Let's see what happens in the coming weeks. I'm sure Jukanovic will be getting in there quick, buying the plays that he needs to sharpish. Thanks for watching. See you next time.